What's going on guys? Dwayne here and I am back again with another YouTube live stream on howtobuildcredittv.com. If you're new to the channel, we normally try to do live streams on Mondays at 7 p.m. So today is Monday at 7 p.m. And uh, here we are for another installment of How to Build Credit TV live stream. So um, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about credit, of course, because that's what this channel is all about. Um, and of course, I want to answer your questions. The purpose of these live streams is for the subscribers or new subscribers to come here and hang out and kind of get your questions answered in regards to credit, in regards to how to make money using credit cards, and just about everything you need to know regarding credit. So um, that's what the purpose of this channel is. Um, I'm really excited because right now, we have uh, 9,700 9, subscribers on this channel, which was started back in March 2018, which required a lot of work. So I'm really excited about that. We're about to hit the 10,000 mark. Probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll get to 10,000 subscribers on this channel, How to Build Credit TV, and that will be incredible. So um, once again, like I said, I try to do these streams on Mondays at 7 p.m. so that you guys can come here and kind of get your questions answered. Uh, in regards to credit to kind of get your credit fix for the week, if you will. Um, so I'm going to kind of, uh, let's see who's in the chat here. I didn't even, I don't have the, um, the, the comment screen up. Let's see who's, who's in the chat. There we go. There we go. Dude, that's crazy. I was wondering, I was like, wait, what's going on here? Uh, okay. So let me say hi to some of you guys in the chat here. We have uh, <laughs> smile. We're all ugly here. Mainly you. Thanks for stopping by the stream yet again. I appreciate you very much. Uh, we have Jose watching from California. By the way, I'm doing this live stream from Houston. That's where I reside and that's where these live streams and videos come from. So let me know if you're watching this back on the replay or if you're watching it live. Let me know from where you're watching because I think that's always kind of cool that a bunch of different people from different places come here to get their credit fix every single Monday. Uh, we have Janelle here. Hey, Janelle, how are you? Thank you for stopping by the stream. Hey, Seuss, what's going on with you, bro? Thank you for stopping by yet again. D. Anderson, yes, sir. Nice to see you again. Cedric, Cedric says, what's up, bro? Guys, checking in. Thank you for stopping by, Cedric. I appreciate you very much. Keith, what's going on, sir? Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Tanya says, sup, peeps? How is everyone? I personally am doing well, Tanya. Thank you for stopping by the stream again. It's always nice to see a friendly face. Um, yeah, these live streams are pretty cool. I'm... Um, it's always kind of weird. Uh, sometimes I'm like, man, I got a live stream today, but when the camera comes on and the interaction starts, it's always all good. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by the stream and thanks for taking the time to say what's up in the comment section. That's always good. Sneaky 25 says, what's up my brother? My Mondays are great again. Thank you, sir, for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you very much. Alberto, what's going on, bro? Thanks again for stopping by the stream. Um, Tanya says, congrats on the subs. Absolutely. Lots of hard work. Uh, and I'm super proud of it. I'm super, super proud of this channel, proud of this community. Um, one of the things that I was just kind of thinking about is the fact that like, yeah, a lot of you guys come back here on Mondays to, uh, get your credit fix in regards to how to build your credit, how to, um, you know, make money using credit cards and, and basically just kind of get your credit checkup. But this channel and this live stream, especially the fact that we do it weekly, when I fit, when I thought about it, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like church to some extent or some kind of fellowship, right? Like we kind of need the interaction, we kind of need that fellowship, and so even though it's like you know, church is pretty much talking about the same type of stuff for the most part, you know, we still go, and um, it's definitely something good to do because it's. Uh, you know, we need that checkup. We need that encouragement. And so that's what hopefully this channel and this community, How to Build Credit TV, will be all about. So I appreciate you guys coming back yet for another installment. Mr. Alexander19, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, you said, hey, Dwayne, what do you all, what do you think about the Amex Hotel Collection? Um, hotel Collection or Hotel Credit Cards from American Express? Um, it's funny, I'm laughing because when I saw the comment, I was laughing because I actually applied for yet another credit card. Yes, yes, I know, I said it, another credit card. I applied for another American Express card and the reason why I applied for another American Express card 
is because American Express does not do hard inquiries for multiple applications. Once you get your first card with American Express, then the rest of your uh, credit applications should be a soft pull, so it doesn't affect your credit, or it doesn't affect your credit a lot. So um, I did apply for another American Express card, and this time it was just the Hilton Honors card. This is the entry-level Hilton card. There's no annual fee. As a matter of fact, I think I think the sign-up bonus right now is I want to say ninety thousand points after you spend two thousand dollars. It's either eighty thousand or ninety thousand. I signed up for it yesterday and I made the video yesterday. So the reason why I was laughing at uh, Mr. Alexander 19's comment uh, in regards to the Hilton, I'm sorry, in, in regards to Amex Hotel Collection is because I just applied for that card. So um, I have the Marriott Bonvoy card, which is clearly a Marriott card. Uh, with hotels within that particular uh, brand or underneath that umbrella and then of course Hilton offers a bunch of different uh, hotels within their umbrella so um, as far as the hotels collection in regards to American Express I think the best thing to do is uh, if you're in a position where you can get both cards then get both cards the Marriott Bonvoy card is $95 after the first year and like I said I did go ahead and apply for the Hilton Honors card, which is just the entry level card from American Express that does not have an annual fee. So um, the reason why I did that is because I can always upgrade. Um, one of the things that I kind of uh, experienced with American Express is that I have the Blue Cash Every Day card and I was calling in to do something. I don't remember what it was, but the representative was like, hey, you're eligible for uh, a promotion right now where if you choose to upgrade to the blue cash preferred that you can earn I think it was two hundred and fifty dollars after spending two thousand um, dollars and I didn't do it uh, even though I should have done it and I'm I don't know I'm pretty sure I could still do it because I got the blue cash everyday card in August 2018 so maybe in a weird way it's some kind of retention offer maybe in a weird way of course they're gonna be getting $95 for the annual fee in regards to that card but I didn't I didn't take that just yet so um, in regards to your question uh, about the Amex hotel collection I think I think they're cool especially if you can get both cards because that opens up a world of uh, choice and variety uh, when it comes to hotel selection so that's my long-winded way of answering your question sort of kinda uh, what's going on Lyndon how to get an 800 credit score he says good evening Dwayne what's up champ I'm doing well yet like I said here again for another exciting installment of uh, how to build credit TV live stream Julian what's going on man thanks for stopping by the stream and congratulations to you I know you text me a little bit ago uh, you were sharing with me that your credit score went up dude 42 points 43 points is a lot of points keep doing what you're doing and uh, you know hopefully in a couple of months you know maybe like six to eight months your credit will even be in a better position than it is already so thanks for sharing that I appreciate you very much uh, Kate Baldy thanks for stopping by uh, yet again another stream I appreciate you very much uh, Florida Lovin 69 says is it worth removing hard inquiries? Um, the answer to that question is quite, uh, you know what, I'll just say yes. You can only remove hard inquiries that you haven't gotten approved for that particular card or loan, right? So if you applied for a card and you were denied for that card, you can remove those inquiries. If the account was actually opened, um, I don't believe you can remove those inquiries. So um, I think it's good if you're able to remove the inquiries. I know that supposedly I was applying for a credit card and I had no inquiries and let's say I had a good credit score like 700 um, it's possible that your credit limit will be higher than if you were applying for like let's say your sixth credit card and you had six inquiries or five inquiries or whatever your credit score might be lower because of the multiple inquiries so it it is beneficial if you can remove the inquiries um, and I think it will help so good question there Queen Cassie, thank you for stopping by the live stream. Uh, loving this profile pic here. She says, hey, uh, at least that's how I hear you saying it. You know what I mean? Uh, cool. Let's see here. Uh, Smile Where All Ugly says, I'm looking to get the City Double Cash card. What should my score be? 
Um, I would say at least 670, like at least 670 FICO score. Um, when it comes to getting credit cards, a lot of people are, are concerned with the scores. And of course, your score matters a whole lot. Your score is very, very important. But the funny thing about it is it's not just about your score. You know what I mean? Like it, there are other factors as well. Um, but the score is definitely one of the first places to start. So I would say about a 660 FICO score, not Credit Karma, your actual FICO score. And depending on, on um, how many inquiries you have, you know, like if you have, I'd say like three or less inquiries, then yes, you should probably apply. But if you have more than three uh, inquiries, then I'd say maybe wait till one of those drop off to kind of give yourself the best opportunity to get that card. All right. That was a good question, by the way. Bodyguard856, what's going on? Just signed up for my Jewelers Club, 5K in primary trade lines coming up. Awesome. Uh, first of all, thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you and thanks for sharing that information. Um, okay, so the funniest thing happened. Um, so I had the reason, one of the reasons why I ended up applying for that American Express card um, was because, uh, well, let's just say it was time to get another card, okay? And so I was doing the application and I was like, in my mind, I was like, you know, I'm gonna do the application. It's not gonna be a big deal. I'll get a couple of thousand bucks. No biggie, okay? Um, I had quite a bit of inquiries and um, I really should not have applied for the card, but I knew it was American Express and I was gonna get approved more than likely um, because I haven't gotten more than two credit cards in a 90 day uh, period with American Express. Okay, so I kind of felt like I was gonna get approved and I knew it was not gonna be a hard inquiry. So I'm applying for the card and um, I'm just, you know, minding my business, making my video for you guys because I try to be a little transparent when it comes to credit card applications and whatnot. And uh, to my surprise, my credit limit was insanely high. As a matter of fact, it's the highest limit that I've gotten thus far. Um, it was $15,000 and I was like, yo, this is freaking crazy. Like that was great because I know that a lot of people, like people claim, they claim that American Express will double or triple your credit limit, you know, after six months. And I've heard that a lot, but me personally, I haven't experienced it. So um, I just stopped trying to get a credit limit increase. So it was just kind of weird. I wasn't quite expecting that. Um, I know that I paid off a huge debt recently, like in July, I uh, paid off a debt that was like almost 20,000 bucks. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but whatever happened uh, for me to get that $15,000 limit, I'm grateful because I thought that was like really, really cool. So my thought is when you have multiple cards or at least you have one card with a high limit, then I think it makes it easier or should I say it opens the gateway to you being able to get multiple cards with higher limits because I feel like if a lender sees that you have a high limit with this card, that it's easier for you to get a high limit with them as well. Versus if you had credit cards with a $300 limit or a $700 limit, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like if that's you, cool, just be patient, do your time, you know what I mean? Get your inquiries off of your uh, credit score, your credit report, and then let your score build, and you'd be surprised what will happen if you apply for a card with no inquiries and you have a pretty decent credit score. Um, you'd be surprised to see what happens. So. Um, I was kind of blown away by that. I was like, dang, that is crazy. So uh, that was pretty sweet. Sexy Devil 78 thank you for joining the stream. Welcome back. Uh, always awesome to see a friendly face. Florida1169 says, always wanted to visit Texas. Um, where are you watching from, Florida1169? Let me see. Did you state that earlier? No. Um, <laughs> yeah, Texas is cool, man. You know, it's, it's actually kind of weird because I was like, my dad chose Texas. Like nobody lived in Texas that we knew. The majority of my family is either in Jamaica or Canada, okay? So my dad had a friend that worked on cars and he was living in Texas. So he told my dad, hey, you should come up here. And so my dad came to Texas. And at first I was like, that's so crazy because I wanted to be in Canada because I'm a big family nut. I love my family. Uh, but anyway, we ended up here. It turns out that Texas um, especially because I live in Houston, Texas is pretty dope because Texas, Houston is pretty diverse and Houston is huge uh, and cost of living is not too bad here. So um, 
I, I like it. I've been here for 31 years, so um, yeah, I like it. Miss Gatlin, hello. Thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you very much. Uh, Mr. Wade, don't want to butcher your first name. Thank you for stopping by the stream, sir. That boy, Bob, what's going on, bro? Thank you for stopping by yet another live stream. I appreciate you very much. By the way, if you're watching the live stream, be sure to check out Bob's channel. It's called Cakeology. Uh, be sure to check out his channel. Also, check out Lyndon's channel, which is how to get an 800 credit score. I always want to say how to build your credit because that's clearly my channel name, How to Build Credit TV. But his channel name is how to get an 800 credit score. So be sure to check out those two channels and subscribe. Anna Banana, thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you very much. Fitzgerald says, what's up, Orlando, Florida? What are your thoughts on DCU reviews um, are negative on them? DCU reviews, I don't even know what that is. Um, yikes, DCU reviews, I do I even have time to check that out? I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Um, maybe I gotta do some research and see what that is. Jason, what's going on from New Orleans? Thank you for stopping by the stream, bro. I appreciate you very much. Miles says, hello everyone watching from Tampa, Florida. Miles, my cousin lives in Tampa, Florida, and um, I haven't even gotten a chance to go visit her. I was on the phone with her, I think it was Saturday evening. She's a flight attendant for Delta. What's going on, cuz? Um, and uh, that's so cool. Like, she's been trying to be a flight attendant for a while, and she finally got on with Delta, which Delta is a great airline. So, uh, anyway, she lives in Tampa, and I need to get down there and see her whenever she's not flying all over the place. I hear it's pretty freaking awesome in Tampa. D. Anderson says, just came back from Philly and New Jersey. Saturday, I turned 46. Happy belated birthday to you, sir. Discover and Navy Federal Credit Union Go Rewards Visa, only two I use. Good stuff. First of all, thanks for sharing that. And a happy belated birthday to you, sir. 46 looks good on you, my brother. Good stuff. Thanks for sharing that information. Speaking of birthdays, um, I doubt my son is watching, but if he's watching... Dominic, happy birthday, happy 17th birthday, 17 years ago, in 2002, uh, my son was born, um, and it was the most magical thing I'd ever seen. I actually cried at his birth um, because I felt like, and I still feel like, that is the closest thing I'll ever get to seeing a miracle, and that was like freaking incredible. So today's my son's 17th birthday, and uh, happy birthday if you're watching, son, which you're probably not because you're a teenager and you don't want to watch. Uh, but happy birthday to you, bro. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, Mr. Wade says, need help on building credit. Yeah, man, you've come to the right place. Ask any questions that you may have in regards to that, and we'll try to help you. There's plenty of people in the community that can answer that question that are more than qualified. So ask away. Appreciate you very much for stopping by. Karina, thank you for watching. You're watching from California. All right, Cali, West Side, let's go. Um, thank you for stopping by the stream. I don't remember seeing your name, so I appreciate you watching or commenting uh, if you've watched in the past. Thank you very much. Curtis says, hello, question, what credit score is needed for the Discover It card? Um, in regards to the Discover It card, the good news, uh, Curtis, is that you can go to the website and see if you're pre-qualified for the Discover It card. If you're not pre-qualified, and let's say your credit score is at least 620, I would suggest considering uh, consider getting the Discover It Secured card. The Discover It Secured card is a great card. That like uh, the Discover card in general is a great card, but that's one of the cards that I would definitely recommend. Uh, as a matter of fact, Curtis, I'm gonna assume that you don't necessarily know my story in regards to Discover It, but I got the Discover It Secured card back in August 2017. And I didn't necessarily need a secured account, but I really wanted a relationship with Discover, and that's why I got the Discover It Secured card. Um, I went ahead and I think I opened it for $1,200 at the time, and then I went ahead and maxed it out at $1,300 because I started to see the power of cash back and the fact that they were going to match all the cash back I earned during my first year of membership. Uh, if, fast forward one year, and I ended up getting over $1,700 worth of cash back. Of course, that's going to be really, really hard for the average person to do, but that was my experience and it was a secured card and it was incredible. So I would always recommend if people are looking to build their credit and let's say you're not going to get approved for a regular unsecured card, you definitely want to consider getting the Discover It secured card. You definitely want to consider possibly, if you don't get that card, getting the Citibank secured card. 
Um, basically get a secure card with a bank that will promote you to an unsecure card. That's always my advice in regards to that. So that's my two cents on that. Go to the website and see if you're pre-qualified, bro. Um, okay, Florida Lovin says, I'm thinking it would be easier and less painful just to go rob some banks. Uh, I, I don't, I mean, yeah, on one, on one hand, it may be easier, but you know, the consequences of that, it might be something else. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it, man. <laughs> Miss Pecan, Miss Pecan, Miss Pecan Tan 89. Thanks for stopping by. You said always here showing love and giving support live from North Carolina, soaking all the knowledge I can get. First of all, thank you for stopping by. Um, always nice to see a friendly face. Um, I love when people come back. It makes me feel like this community and this channel is uh, doing something positive. So thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. Um, smile where all ugly says, bro, how many inquiries do you have? Now that's a great question because like, honestly, in the last, I'll say the last two years, because supposedly inquiries can take up to two years to fall off of your credit report. Um, I know for a fact that in the last two years I've applied for over, I would say over 10 accounts. Currently I have 15 credit cards. Uh, it would have been 17, but we're not going to talk about that. But I uh, currently have 15 credit cards. Now, this is not something that uh, I'm boasting about, and I don't necessarily recommend it. You don't need 15 credit cards, but having more credit is always better than not having enough credit. Um, and so personally, I like a lot of the cards that I have, and I try to apply for cards that are going to benefit me. Speaking of cards that are going to benefit me, Man, I applied for the Apple card, right? So I got the Apple card. It gave me a $6,500 credit limit for which I was grateful. And I want to get an Apple watch, right? I already had an Apple watch. I have an Apple watch. I want to get an Apple watch. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'm an Apple head. I'm going to wait because I knew I was going to be buying a lot of Apple products here in the future. Like I'm probably going to buy an Apple watch, of course, this year because I have the series two Apple watch. And so I, there's a series five coming out hopefully this year. So I knew I was going to upgrade my Apple watch. Okay. I knew I was going to probably buy maybe a MacBook pro and maybe another MacBook pro, um, and possibly a phone next year. So I was like, let me get the Apple card just because, you know, I'm an Apple head. Um, I wanted to use my series two Apple watch as my work watch. And by work watch, I mean, I wear it at work. It's really convenient. I can look at my watch, check my messages. I can touch it and talk to my watch and send messages on my watch without taking my phone out my pocket. Um, prior to getting the Apple watch in 2017 is when I got it in June, 2017. Um, prior to that, I had not worn a watch on my wrist since 2008. Okay. So it's like, okay, this is kind of weird picking the watch up, looking at my wrist, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I dropped my Apple watch face down on some tile. OK, shattered the screen like pissed. OK, like super mad because the new Apple Watch, the one I'm getting uh, next month or whenever it comes out, the Series 5 was going to be my not work watch. Right. So I was going to wear it like everywhere else that wasn't work. So now I'm at work looking at my wrist because I spent two years training myself to look at my wrist, you know, like my, my watch rings when I have a call coming in. And I don't have to take my phone out of my pocket. And at work, that's really handy because sometimes I'm on the forklift or I'm doing something that I can't actually hear my phone, but I can feel the vibration. So it's been a week without my Apple Watch and I'm dying. Today, I looked at my wrist several times at work. I'm like, what time is it? Do I have any messages? Do I have any missed calls? Totally sucks. So um, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I guess I started talking about that because the fact that I got the Apple card and of course, I'm going to buy my Apple Watch with the with the Apple card, but uh, it's really lame. I mean, I'm, I'm really hurt, but uh, it's a great piece of technology and I like it a lot, to be honest with you. I'm dying without it. Uh, D. Anderson says, um, today I got approved for the Hilton Honors. First of all, congratulations to you, bro. And thank you for sharing that information. I think it's a decent card. Um, I'm excited. I currently have uh, the Marriott Bonvoy card, and I think my sign-up bonus when I got it was 70,000 points after spending $2,000 in three months. Um, right now, I have 81,000 points on that card. I have not redeemed one cent of that. 
Um, and I, I think my year with that card will be February. So in February of next year, I'll be paying a $95 annual fee, uh, of which I'm not worried. But um, I think the Hilton Honors is a, is a good card. And more importantly, it gives you more of a selection when it comes to hotels, right? So congratulations to you, D, and thank you for sharing that information, bro. The Credit Card Maestro, what's going on, Walt? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Guys, this is yet another YouTuber here. Check out his channel, The Credit Card Maestro. Brother does videos on credit credit cards. He does videos, vlogs on traveling. Um, we'll see just how much videos I, uh, I take while in Costa Rica. I'm smiling because I'm like, Am I gonna take videos in Costa Rica? Uh, but anyway, l let's see, we'll see. Hopefully I'll make, well, I should make at least one video, right? But um, I wish I could do that. I wish that was my life. I wish I would like kind of make videos and travel and uh, you know show you guys cool footage and have my drones flying around and getting these awesome shots and playing these awesome pieces of music in the background. I so wish that was my life. It's kind of funny because I'm not insanely adventurous but I wish that I, that, that I could do that. And uh, that would bring this channel and this community to a whole nother level. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna start with Costa Rica and uh, we'll see how many videos I get up for you guys. Anyway, Walt, thanks for stopping by, bro. And uh, if you guys are watching, be sure to stop by Walt's channel, The Credit Card Maestro. Subscribe to his channel for some support and love. Uh, support that dude, he's a smart guy. Very, very, very smart. Um, here we go, let's see. Greg, thanks for stopping by the channel, bro. Greg said, uh, hey, I just started my credit journey a year ago, building my credit um, foundation. My credit score is very good. I have a secured Capital One. I also have the Discover Unsecured Credit Card. First of all, Greg, thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for sharing that information, and you are so on the right path. If I were you, I would make sure that you use the mess out of that Discover card. Use the mess out of that Discover card because they match all the cash back and definitely want to pay attention to the 5% cashback category. I think that is a great card for people to get their feet wet in regards to cashback and how that works, which can easily translate into earning points uh, using credit cards. I know for a fact that my trip to Costa Rica, the ticket was $746, and being able to use my membership reward points from American Express made that a lot easier for me to book that ticket. Um, I definitely had the $746 in cash or money or whatever. Of course, I would use my American Express Gold card to pay for the ticket, which I did. Um, I, I definitely had that money, but I didn't want to spend that money. So it's imperative for you to kind of get your feet wet in regards to cash back. If you're just getting started, I think cash back is kind of the way to go. And so like you will kind of see what happens as you're spending and you're watching your statement and you're like, whoa, I kind of I earned 10 bucks this month. You know what I mean? And then you kind of start to get some momentum and you start to pay attention to just how valuable that is. And like I said, Discover matches all the cash back you earned in your first year. So you definitely want to make sure you jump on that. Put the majority, if not all of your purchases on that Discover card, man. You'd be surprised how fast that adds up. Um, right now, the 5% cashback category on Discover is 5% on restaurants. And then the last quarter of the year will be 5% on Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Those are very uh, easy places to rack up cashback because, you know, it'll be the Christmas season coming up. And I'm sure we'll be shopping at Amazon, Target, and Walmart. So you definitely want to make sure you're on top of that. Uh, Mr. Wade says, I'm trying to reestablish my credit, but I'm new to it. I have a Capital One card, but that's it. Dude, that's a good start. Um, I would say my advice would be to use that card um, at least six months, or I, I should say probably like eight to 10 months, and then consider, depending on what your score is, then consider getting the Discover It's Secure card and using that for all of your purchases for the next year because you wanna max out that cash back that they match. Um, so yeah. D. Anderson says, I was at, I was at the Hilton in Philly uh, I came out the garden. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, you did. Yeah, you came out the garden. Garden. Um, I guess I came out the garden too, but I was never really in the garden. You know, we're not gonna talk about it, okay, guys? I'm here to talk to you about how to build your credit, not necessarily how to not apply for stuff because apparently I like to apply for stuff. Uh, but uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny because clearly, depending on where you are with your credit score, you shouldn't be applying for stuff. Um, my score went down quite a bit um, when I applied. For the Apple Card, I think one of my scores dropped like 13 points. But um, the hard inquiries 
uh, is worth, what is it worth? It's worth 10%. It's worth 10% of your overall FICO score, and 10% of your overall FICO score is 85 points. So uh, even though 10% is not a lot, 85 points is a lot. Your score is not going to drop 85 points, of course, unless you were just applying for stuff like a crazy person. But going down like 13 points is quite a bit. So um, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm, I'm going to chill. I mean, there's really not a lot of cards that I'm interested in right now anyway. So I'm definitely going to chill. Brock, what's going on, man? Thank you for stopping by the stream. You said, just got approved for the Blue Cash Preferred. My first annual fee card. Super pumped for it to come. First of all, congratulations, Brock. And thank you for taking the time to share that information here. I think that's a great card. And I think if you're able to maximize the cash back on that, then you know it is all good. They really make it easy to get a lot of cash back on that particular card, of course, because it's the preferred. So I think you're gonna enjoy that, especially if you're able to maximize where you can make the most money on cash back. So just keep me posted on that. Let me know how that goes for you. Um, and welcome to the American Express family, especially if this is your first, uh, your first American Express card. Um, definitely wanna consider getting like a travel card from American Express, like the gold card. Uh, as well, of course, that has a hefty annual fee uh, of 250. I know that for me personally, I didn't want to get that card, but there was so much hype around the metal card, the metal gold card, and I was like, okay, I need to do it for the channel, right? That's how I kind of justified it. I need to do it for the channel, so I went ahead and got the American Express gold card, which I'm happy about. Um, since having that card, I will. I earned a lot of points, like a lot of points. And of course, some of those points came from referrals from people signing up for my account. Um, as a matter of fact, I I can't even get any more uh, referrals because I've met, I've maxed out the amount of referrals you're able to get. So right now, if you use my link to sign up for American Express, um, it's not even it's not even my referral link. It's actually my cousin's referral link because I'm already maxed out and I can't get any more points anyway. I mean, uh, yeah, any more uh, referrals. Greg says, I was wondering, should I apply for the Chase Freedom, but also heard Chase like to see a year of credit history before they approve you. Should I play it safe and apply uh, for American Express credit card? Um, Greg, Chase cards are incredible to get. Um, I think it's a decent idea to play it safe and wait possibly to get your Chase card. Um, if your score is like at least 680 though, I would say just go for it. The Chase Freedom is a great card and it's good to be in the Chase ecosystem. The ultimate reward points is basically the highest, you get the highest value for those points, like more so than American Express. So Chase is a great, great, great credit card. The Chase Freedom is a great card to go with. And if you're able to do that, then that's swell, especially if you're going to be under 524. Once you get into the American Express ecosystem, it's easy to want to apply for several cards because it's super easy to get American Express cards once you've gotten your first card. So you may want to consider if you're under 524, then I would say go for you know your Chase Freedom first, to be honest. Uh, but if you're over 524, which you're not, because I think you said you're just kind of starting, uh, then yeah. So disregard that last that last part. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to go for that Chase card, especially if it's been like eight months or so. And if you have at least a 680 credit score, you should be in good standings. Um, and let's say no more than two inquiries, right? Then I think you should probably stand a good chance of getting that. Julio, what's going on, man? Thank you for stopping by the stream, sir. Uh, Karina says, Dwayne, do you know if removing an authorized user account will hurt my credit score? Uh, removing thus account, lowering my utilization. Um... Karina, in regards to that, yes, it could hurt your score if removing the authorized user does take that available credit. So let's say you removed yourself from being an authorized user and that card was a $10,000 limit credit limit. Of course, if you lost that $10,000 limit on your credit report, that's going to affect your utilization, but it only affects your utilization if you don't keep it in check, right? Like, yes, it's going to hurt to some extent to lose all that credit. Uh, or to lose that limit, but utilization is utilization. So whether you had a credit card with a $500 limit or you had credit cards and you have $50,000 of available limit across all the cards, all it means is that you're going to have to spend less, right? So 10% of 500 is 50 bucks, 
where 10% of $50,000 is 5,000 bucks. So of course you could spend more and still be within the 10%, right? Um, so yeah, it could hurt your score. It definitely will hurt your score if you're losing history, right? That will also hurt it. So it's kind of it's kind of a, a twofold thing, but the credit utilization is something you can control. All right, so that aspect of it won't hurt you. Um, but if you if you lose credit history, let's say you're losing five years of credit history, that will hurt you as well. So uh, that's a great question, and I hope I answered it. Liam, what's going on? Liam says he's in the UK. Um, Points going up to 999. Not sure what that means, but thank you for stopping by the stream. Um, Florida1169 says, I'm going to visit the credit bureaus with my M4 and <laughs> they'll remove that. Dude, I don't know. Once again, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, Smile, we're all ugly, says, How can I remove an inquiry for a card I was denied? Um, you're gonna have to use like some kind of credit repair agency that removes uh, inquiries. I personally don't know how to do that, but there are plenty of people in the stream that can help you with that information. Uh, I see Josh commented below. Josh said, first of all, what's going on, Josh? Josh says, removing the AU. Okay, he's answering the question about the AU. Um, but uh, credit limit, but the account will stay on there. Okay, cool. That's good. To, that's good to know. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, um, in regards to removing an inquiry, you'd have to go with somebody that provides that service. That's not something that I personally do or know a whole lot about, unfortunately, so I cannot help you. Uh, let's see. Okay, see, let's see here. Uh, Mr. Wade says, what should my score be to get into um, any unsecured credit card? Uh, it really just kind of depends. Um, my advice is if you're interested in a, in a Discover card that is unsecured, always see if you're pre-qualified first. I would say it's always safe to at least have a 660 FICO score, at least a 660. Um, and if you have less than three inquiries, you could possibly be approved for a credit card. I can't give any concrete scores because everyone's credit profile is different and they're not always only looking at just your score. Your score is a part of it, your score is a huge part of it, but to give you a perfect example, my credit score when I applied for a particular credit card was 781. That was my FICO score with TransUnion. They sent me a letter, my denial letter, because I was not approved. My score was 781. My FICO score was 781. I had way too many inquiries for them, too many new accounts in a short window. They didn't like that. And, um, you know, they didn't approve me for the card. Now, clearly, you don't have a 781 credit score if you don't know what you're doing and if you're not responsible. But they did not extend credit to me. So... I don't want to say as long as you have this score, you're going to be approved. Not true. OK, but it is it is part of it for sure. Uh, let's see here. Wow, Florida Eleven Sixty Nine says I got the Capital One unsecured card right after filing Chapter Seven. That's pretty interesting. Um, I spoke with someone, I think it was Saturday, and they were like, "Man, I haven't been able to get a Capital One card." And I'm like, "Really?" Um, and he was saying that he was having a hard time. And I'm thinking like Capital One is one of the easier credit cards to get a card with. So it's pretty interesting that you said you got an unsecured card from Capital One right after filing a Chapter Seven. First of all, thanks for sharing that information. Um, because I was telling the guy on the phone, I was like, I don't know. I mean, unless Capital One's different than they were with me, um, because I, I had an account with them and I ruined it and I still got um, Capital One to extend credit to me and it was less than seven years. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that information, man. I appreciate you a lot. Uh, Keith was like, Keith says, remember what I told you about credit limits after the first large limit? Yeah, absolutely. Apparently, I'm seeing that to be true um, and I'm experiencing that to be true. So that's pretty awesome. 
Liam says, would you recommend to never use debit card? Um, absolutely, bro. I, you know, it was kind of weird the other day. Um, it was Friday, Friday. I went to the bank and I got some cash from my bank and I had to bring it to Chase because I, I now bank with Navy Federal Credit Union, but my mom has a Chase account. So I was sending my mom some money and I went to the bank and I got $500. Actually, I got $800 because I got some money for my trip to Costa Rica. And so I got $800 out the bank and it was the weirdest thing. Like I'm touching cash. I'm touching the cash and I'm like, yo, I haven't touched cash in such a long time because I use my credit card for everything. Um, I never have cash unless somebody hands me cash. I never have cash and I never use my debit card. If you logged on to my bank account, you would see um, all of my transactions are going to be payments from my checking account to my savings account, maybe like an online savings account or payments from my checking account to my credit card. That's it. So I would always recommend never use your debit card because you don't earn any points or cash back using that thing. So never, ever, ever, ever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Julio says, I want more Amex cards, but I'm already at Amex limit. Only cards I get is charge card, which I'll get later. Um, I guess you're saying you're already at the limit, as in you've got two cards in the last 90 days. Um, I tell you something that I experienced, guys. Um, I, I got to the point where I was, I remember I was applying for an American Express card. And right before I submitted the application, they were like, you're not eligible to get the sign up bonus. I was like, what? Like I was bugging. I was like, wait, what? Like that in to me, right? I was like, I, that's part of the reason why I want the card is because of the sign up bonus. And so when I saw that, I did not apply for the card and um, I was bugging. I was like, man, does that mean I'm in Amex jail? Does that mean I'll never be eligible for any more sign up bonuses? Um, and to my surprise, that was not the case because I applied for a card later and I got the sign up bonus. Um, but American Express is, is is pretty freaking good as far as I'm concerned. I mean, they're they're pretty lenient and I feel like they work with you more than any other uh, one of the major credit card companies, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Deborah, thanks for stopping by the stream. You said, what's going on? Shout out the DMV. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you very much. Wow. Ronald Anderson. Thank you, sir, for the $20 super chat. I appreciate you, sir. Oh, by the way, guys, you can, you can, you could support the channel, support me, support the fact that you love this community by donating in the super chat. It's the little dollar sign at the bottom of the chat. Um, you could always click on that and, and kind of give your, your 99 cents. If you want to give your 99 cents, every little bit helps. So, um, Ronald, I appreciate the the two dollar the two dollar the twenty dollar super chat. That's freaking awesome, man! It's always a pleasure to see that. That's always a testament to this channel and the fact that you guys are receiving value from the channel. So, thank you, sir, for taking your money and doing that. Uh, Mr. Wade says my score is poor. How do I get it going in the right direction? Well, I think you said you had a credit card right now. Um, I would just say be patient, work with that card for a year, see what your score looks like. Within that year, of course, if you have Credit Karma, you can kind of keep an eye on your score. But within that year, I think you're going to see that your score is going to improve. One thing that you definitely want to consider or not consider, one thing that you definitely want to do is make sure that your utilization, your credit card utilization is between zero and 10%. Keeping your utilization low will allow your score to be higher. So if you have a $300 limit, 10% of $300 is 30 bucks. So that means whenever your closing date is, your closing date is uh, basically whenever you're, you need to call them and ask them when your closing date is. But whenever that date is, if it's on the 15th, make sure that on the 15th, your balance, if it's a $300 credit limit, your balance is between zero bucks and 30 bucks, okay? So that's the best advice. Do that for like 10 to 12 months, see where your score is, and then you can kind of go from there. The thing about building your credit is the beginning, if you're, if you're building it or if you're repairing it, can be insanely painful. But stay the course and dude, in a couple of years, you'll be applying for pretty much any car that you want to get and uh, you know, you'll love the feeling uh, for sure to get approved for those cards. Um, 
Linden, how to get an 800 credit score. Thank you for that $5 super chat. I appreciate you very much. Um, I can't even get to that in the chat right now, but I'll, I'll get to it. Thank you, sir, for taking your hard-earned money and uh, and donating to this channel and this cause. By the way, guys, um, like I, I said earlier, I, I did get um, a $15,000 credit limit uh, on a new credit card that I applied for. Uh, of course, if people are interested in that, you can message me. You can email me at helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. I'm not sure the details about it yet, but I will let you guys know as soon as I do. Um, when I when I think about that, I'm always thinking about what's cost effective to people, um, what's going to make somebody stick around for months, as opposed to like you know one or two months. When I say months, I mean like six or more, because that's kind of that's kind of where I'm going with that, right? Like my my goal is to help people, and uh, I know that people are providing you know AUs or trade lines that. Um, are hella expensive, you know, $1,500, $3,400 for like 60 days, right? So my goal is to always, number one, make it affordable, something you can handle monthly and something that's going to make you stick around for a longer period of time. So um, if you guys are interested in that, just shoot me an email at helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. And uh, of course, I'll, as I work out the details and, and decide exactly what I want to do, I'll let you guys know and I will uh, you know, talk about it here a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, Bodyguard856 says, I went with the My Jewelers Club instead of getting the Navy Federal Secured Card. 5,000 in primaries, now the waiting game. Congratulations on that. Thank you for taking the time to share that information here. And I'm sure you'll keep us posted on that. So uh, that's freaking awesome. The Credit Card Maestro says, I'm consider relocating to Dallas. Yeah, man, you got to do it. You know what I mean? You have a really, really great, good looking reason to do it. So um, I think Dallas is kind of cool, to be honest with you. It's it's weird. I feel like Dallas is better than Houston, but I think I'm speaking from a attractions perspective. Um, I feel like there aren't a lot of attractions here in Houston. And Dallas has a couple of things that, um, you know, you can kind of do. Like, they have Six Flags. The Wax Museum is close by. Of course, Dallas has the Cowboys, you know. And it's not like I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm not. But um, that's not going to be a bad look. And your money might go a little uh, farther here in Dallas than it does in Philly. Um, I'm not sure. But we'd love to have you in Texas. And it'd be super easy for us to do a collab since you'll only be four hours away. So keep me posted on that, man. She's worth it. Venezuela Dockery, what's going on, bro? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, sir. <laughs> Florida1169 says, I may move also. Hey, man, Texas is Texas is it. They they claim everything is bigger in Texas. I mean, whatever that means, okay? That's, that's a Texas saying. Sean P. Entertainment says, question, when you have an AU, if a credit card company runs your credit, will they see... You have 19000 in credit, or will they see how much you really have, like 600 in secure credit cards? <laughs> is, um, well, they're supposed to see that. They're supposed to see that you have uh, 19000 in credit is what they're supposed to see. And more importantly, um, even if they can tell that you're an AU on that specific card, uh, your credit score should be benefited by having more available credit. And so... That will that will initially benefit you, which is kind of why people do AUs. If you can jump on an AU where you have some credit history that you can get, um, unfortunately, I don't have any of those available because those are all gone. But if you can jump on one like that, that will benefit you in that category, the average age of credit, and then it will also benefit you in uh, credit card utilization. So um, I think I think it's a win-win uh, either way. To be honest with you. Oh, that boy Bob from Cakeology says, Dwayne, love the channel. The cream team, baby. Bob, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much for taking your hard-earned money and uh, donating to the cause. Guys, I really appreciate the super chats. That's freaking awesome. Be sure to check out Bob's channel, uh, Cakeology. It's on the screen. Um, be sure to check out his channel. Bob is doing videos on credit as well. Um, he talks about business credit as well. I wish I knew more about business credit so I'm definitely got, I definitely got to watch his channel for sure let's see here here we go dude finally all right there we go that boy Bob is in there hey um 
Bob, you are now officially a moderator, bro. You can do your thing. Your name will be in blue. So you'll stand out there in the comment section. You can answer, please answer questions here, man. Like that's what this community is all about. So definitely, definitely chime in when you can and where you can. I appreciate that. Um, is this, I don't, I'm not even going to pronounce your name, but, uh, any advice on a 19 year old starting off with credit? Uh, first advice would be, um, if you're able to get with a bank, like let's say Chase, cause Chase is a big bank or any big bank that's around you that has, uh, either a secured card or a way for you to start a relationship with them. And then maybe like eight to 10 months down the line, you can apply for a credit card with them. That's always a good way to go. If you're in school, you definitely want to get a student credit card. Capital One has a student credit card. Discover Card has a student credit card. Um, those are always a good way to go. I know for me, when I was in college, they had credit card companies on campus. They were like, you want a free shirt? You know, of course, you're in college. You're like, yeah, I want a free shirt. Fill out this credit card application, right? So um, that's how I got my first credit card, I think. I think. I don't know. Well, maybe it wasn't my first. But that's how I got at least one of my credit cards, which was a Sony credit card uh, by Citibank. And uh, they gave me a ridiculous limit. I think I, at one point I had like a $12,000 limit with uh, with Sony. Uh, it was a Citibank card back in the day. So um, that's my advice. If those don't work out for some reason, then consider getting a secured card with like Discover Card, Citibank. Those are good banks that you can get a secured card with. And those secured card should be promoted and graduated to an unsecured card when you use it properly and pay your bill on time always and forever all right 912 all day long says hey Dwayne what's up just you just answered the question about Amex next month I'm going to ask for a credit limit increase after 60 days of having the blue cash everyday card um I, ugh, 60 days I personally would wait I would wait pff, I would say six months to be honest with you um, and it's kind of weird when you call them, ask if it's going to be a hard inquiry. Okay. If it's going to be a hard inquiry, which I don't remember if it is or not, but if it's going to be a hard inquiry, which, which I doubt just apply for another card from American express. Okay. But I would wait six months. 60 days is not that long of a time. I mean, it's only two months. So I would wait six months personally before asking for a credit limit. What's going on, Greg? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, bro. Janae, thank you for stopping by. Janae said, I sent a dispute letter and they came back verified. What should I do next? Janae, that question must be for somebody like uh, Josh or anybody else that knows how to answer that question. Um, I don't know um, <laughs> anything about that because I don't, I, I haven't been smart enough to even begin to do that when I needed to. I don't need to now. So hopefully somebody can answer that, to be honest with you, because I do not know. Oh, DCU Credit Union. Okay. Uh, Fitzgerald was asking about DCU Credit Union earlier. I don't remember the question now, but um, I just got to that part in the comment section, which shows you insanely how far behind, behind I am on these uh, comments. Uh, TK Sada, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining the stream. Watching from Boise, Idaho. Never been to Idaho. Uh, would like to go, but I've never been. Ace One, Detroit in the house. Thanks for stopping by the stream, sir. Um, <laughs> Smile, we're all ugly, says. Uh, is your wife Jamaican as well? I don't have a wife. My ex is not Jamaican. She's American. She was here from Houston. Um, that would have been interesting to have a Jamaican wife. But no, I, I don't have a wife. And, uh, and my ex was not Jamaican. <laughs> uh, good question, though. Uh, let's see here. How much do you charge to get started? Uh, is that question for me? Florida loving 69. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know. Rick Phillips says 17 is a great age. Good look. Good luck with life. Love your channel and uh, you as always. Awesome, Dwayne. Rick, thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, sir. Delcina, what's going on, girl? You made it. <laughs> uh, it says, hey, Duane, it's good to see you today. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Um, I was super happy that I found your uh, card. I know it didn't matter because you had already it had already popped up on your credit report, but I knew I, I had seen it the other day because I was like going through the card. So 
Um, I'm glad I, I got a copy or a picture to you just because I'm a nerd like that. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Uh, Giselle, thank you for stopping by the stream. You said, what's your opinion on Credit One? I hear mixed reviews. My opinion personally on Credit One or any other cards that have an annual fee um, is to not get it. Um, especially an annual fee that 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 is that high because I know Credit One has uh, a pretty high annual fee. So I personally don't like Credit One. I feel like their whole deal is about copying um, Capital One. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they do a really good job of kind of catching people that aren't paying attention. They might like think that this is Capital One and it's not. And Credit One markets to you so hard that it's easy for you if you're not looking to think it's Capital One just because of the C and the, the actual word one. So um, I, my advice is not to get that. My advice is to get a card with someone uh, that is a reputable bank that is a big deal because it doesn't make sense to get credit and then ending end up having to close that account in a year because that you're going to be deleting that history. And it's never good to delete that history or any history for that matter, especially if you can help it from the start. Um, so that's my two cents on that. Brian Jung, what's going on, bro? This brother gave a $10 super chat. First of all, thanks, Brian, for stopping by the channel. Your channel is growing insanely, bro. First of all, that's awesome. Um, by the way, guys, if you're watching, please be sure to stop by Brian's channel. Not that he needs any more love and support. Brother is killing it on YouTube. Uh, dude, like I said, I think you're doing your you're in that niche that that kind of needed someone and you know You've emerged as a superstar. So that's freaking awesome. Thank you for taking your hard-earned money and donating to the cause Thanks for stopping by the channel, bro And uh, you know being visible because a lot of people can clearly stop by and watch these live streams and, and I would never know which is totally cool So congratulations to you on your channel and your success here on YouTube Keep up the good work. You just came here and blew me out the water but uh, hey, it's all good, man. I, like I said, I think you're right there in that niche that needed you so much. Like the young people definitely needed somebody in the credit space and you have emerged and taken that space by storm. So thanks for that $10 super chat. I really appreciate it, bro. And thanks for stopping by the stream. That's awesome as well. Fitzgerald said, just received my credit card from Navy Federal Credit Union last week. Congratulations to you. Thank you for sharing that here in the community. Um, it's always awesome to see that. Uh, I think you're going to have a good time with Navy Federal Credit Union. I personally just got the secure card, not just. I think I got it in June uh, with Navy Federal because I wanted to get a relationship with them so badly. And I know that they give uh, supposedly generous credit limits. So that's kind of why I did that. Quiet Storm 7 says, just want to tell you thank you for adding me as an AU a couple of months ago. Now I was approved for a Navy Federal uh, uh, Rewards Limit $2,200. Awesome. Thank you, Quiet Storm, for uh, saying that. And congratulations to you. That is freaking awesome. Just take care of that. And before you know it, you know, 10 months from now or so, your score should be better, uh, especially if you use your card correctly and keep your utilization between 0 and 10%. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing that here in the live stream. Uh, Wade, you're asking about what credit card you can get approved for with poor credit. Um, like I said, the best advice is to go with a secured card. Um, if you bank with a bank that offers secured card, like if you have a, a TD Bank branch close to where you are, they have a good secured card that you will be able to upgrade to an unsecured card eventually. Uh, U.S. Bank has a secured card. It's always good to kind of get a secured card from a bank that promotes or graduates you to an unsecured card. OK, uh, so that's that's kind of my two cents on that. Uh, this guy, Curly Kid TV, bro, I don't even know if you're still in the stream, but if you are, thanks for stopping by. I see you. Where are your videos, bro? Where are your videos? You're supposed to be putting videos up on YouTube, man. Uh, thanks for stopping by, though. I appreciate it. It's awesome to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Gary, what's going on? Gary says, uh, hey, Dwayne, uh, Amex Hotel Collection. I think that Mr. Alexander was talking about the perks with the gold platinum card, the seventy, the $7,500 hotel credit. Okay, room upgrade, early check-in, late check-out. Uh, first of all, Gary, 
Can I tell you how much I appreciate you coming by the channel and dropping the nuggets just like you just did in the comment section? I didn't quite know what he was talking about, but clearly you do. And those things are incredible. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely American Express did kind of step it up in regards to that. I know that they increased um, they increased how much money you get back in regards to um, like the hotel collection or something, something of that sort where you're basically, they'll give you, I think it used to be 75 bucks and I think it's a hundred bucks now. Uh, but like I said, Gary, I appreciate you uh, jumping in there and letting me know. When I was reading it, I was like, I, I saw the 75 and I thought you were going to say the 75,000 sign up bonus. Um, yesterday when I was applying for my um, Hilton Honors card, I used my cousin's uh, referral link and I did it in an incognito window and I saw that the American Express Platinum card had a 75,000 uh, sign up bonus and I was like, dude, that's kind of, that's looking good. Um, I don't travel as much as I want to in regards to getting that particular card. I mean, I kind of want to get it too for the um, the uh, lounge access that it provides. I know that uh, going to Costa Rica, I'm going to Costa Rica. I'm going to Costa Rica, y'all, on Thursday. Um, I know that, that I would have definitely used that perk um, here in Houston at our airport. I was going to say a hotel. I know that we have a Centurion Lounge here in Houston, and I definitely would have used that perk. <laughs> Florida Love in 69 says they turned me down so I threw my iPhone XX Max in the <laughs> in the canal going to Samsung. Uh dude, I guess you got to do what you got to do. Uh it's funny though cuz I've been an Apple head since the iPhone 3G. Um I wasn't able to get the very very first iPhone, so I got the second one which was the 3G. Um and I've been iPhone ever since except once when my I think it was my iPhone 4 was stolen. I was playing basketball at this Christian university, okay? And my phone got stolen, which I was bummed about. And uh, when that happened, I was like, you know what? I'm not getting another phone because I didn't have insurance. I, I didn't remember what the, the story was, but I wasn't gonna get another phone because it was a lot of money. And so I went ahead and rocked, I rocked a flip phone for like a year and a half or something crazy until the next iPhone came out. Um, yeah, so that was kind of weird. But hey, you got to do what you got to do. I hear you, man. I hear you. Um, Giselle, in regards to the authorized users, you can email me at helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. If you include your phone number, I'll give you a quick shout and I can answer your questions that way. That'll be faster and easier uh, for both of us. Once again, my email address is helping others at gmail dot. I'm sorry, helping others prosper, helping others prosper at gmail dot com. And of course, it's spelled just like all of those words are helping others prosper. Rick Phillips says I've been I've been enjoying my new Discover card. Eighty five hundred dollar limit is awesome. Yeah, it is, man. That's freaking dope. Your credit limit is a lot higher than mine on my Discover card. I think I have a I don't think I have a five thousand dollar limit with one of my cards. And I have a $2,500 limit with another card. So that's awesome. Teresa, thank you for stopping by the stream. You said, enjoy your trip. Be safe. That is the plan. I'm excited about the trip. My uh, my grandma is coming. My grandma will be 94 in December. And so she's going to be there. She's really strong. I'm excited to see her. And uh, a couple of my aunts are coming. So I'm excited about that. It's like a little mini reunion, except... Um, my family is insanely big. My dad's side is insanely big, but I'm excited to see grandma. That alone is going to make the trip worth it. So there's that. Jorge, what's going on, man? Thanks for stopping by this, the stream. I appreciate you very much. Let's see here. Scroll in, scroll in. Uh, Jorge says, did you graduate your Discover It's Secure card in eight months? Ha 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 ha. Funny story, um, it took me 14 months to be promoted to the unsecured Discover card. Um, I don't know why it took me that long, to be honest with you, but a lot of people fall in love with the eight month thing. And I think part of it for me was that I maxed out the Discover card at $2,500, the Discover secured card, and the average person doesn't do that. Not to mention, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Um, and if you did it, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't get a credit limit increase. So it took them 14 months 
to promote me to the unsecured card and I did not get a credit limit increase. It's still $2,500, uh, which is okay. I went ahead and applied for another Discover card. Um, I applied for that card literally a year after I had the Discover It's Secured card. So um, I think today actually, because I applied for my second Discover card on August 26th, which is my son's birthday last year, 2018. So today is my year with my second Discover card, which means I'm, they're not going to match any more cash back that I earned. I think I'm up to $337 right now. Um, I think they'll, you know, tack on whatever I've earned for this month or this cycle, and then that they'll match that in September. So, of course, I'll make a video at some point showing you guys that. All right, let's see here. Sean P is watching from Philly. Thanks for sharing that information, bro. Uh, by the way, if you guys are watching and you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in a live stream real quick. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to jump off of here. As much as I love you guys, it's been an hour and it's 8 o'clock here in Houston. So I'm going to uh, get off and I'll, I'm sure I'll have some questions to answer uh, from people that may have questions about um, other things that you're going to email me about at helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. So if you have questions, be sure to chunk them in the chat and I will do my best to answer it. Uh, Mr. Wade says, Dwayne, remember when you got started, how long did it take you uh, your credit to get to get your credit where you need to get a, uh, to get your credit? That way you can be approved for different cards. Um, you know, great question. Um, when I got started, I kind of got started in 2014 rebuilding my credit and it was kind of weird because there was, um, that was kind of a dark time for me to be honest. And uh, I wasn't really interested in anything financial at that time, but I knew the importance of having credit. And I was just kind of like, all right, F it, let me start rebuilding my credit. And so that's exactly what I did. I ended up getting a credit card with Capital One, which was the Capital One Platinum card at the time. Um, and you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start now just because you know it makes sense. And to be honest with you, I had that card and then I got the Capital One Quicksilver card a year later, which was 2015. And then I didn't apply for anything else until 2017. 2017, in April, I applied for a Chase Freedom card. And then in July of 2017, I got a Macy's card. And then in August of 2017, I got the Discover It card. In October of 2017, I got the Citibank secured card, and I think, I think, um, yeah, and that was kind of all the cards I had for a while, and I chilled until August 2018. In August 2018, from August, September, October 2018, I went nuts, and I got like eight credit cards uh, after that, but the thing is like, a lot of people don't know. I mean, like the beginning is kind of slow and I didn't really have any help. I was not an authorized user on anybody's card. I didn't even really know about authorized user and the power of that. So there was really like a three, a three year period um, where I didn't do anything. I was just rocking it out with my one card. But my advice is to come back here on the channel, watch some of these videos, watch other people's videos about credit. And the more you hear about credit and start to hear the same things over and over, especially like your payment history and your credit card utilization, you'll start to understand what I'm talking about. You start to pay attention to your Credit Karma app. Even though Credit Karma is not the most consistent with your credit score, it's consistent in regards to your credit card utilization and some other things. So your credit utilization, your credit card utilization is super important and you need to be able to keep that beneath 10%. You know what I mean? The closer to zero is better. Um, but just hang around and keep asking questions, man. You'll be you'll be uh, you'll be able to you know get some good answers. And of course, as you can see here, there's plenty of people in the live stream in the chat that can answer questions. I mean, there are people that are answering questions in the in the live chat uh, that I can't even answer, which is like super awesome. That's what's really cool about the community, and uh, I'm insanely proud of that. I'm insanely proud that this community is like we're not selfish. That's not what the community is about. That's not what this community is about. Um, you know, and I, I show love to every YouTuber that's on here because they understand the grind. They understand how much work it takes to be successful on YouTube. Um, a lot of people can say, oh, man, you know, they're making videos X, Y, Z. You make videos. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's even hard to make one video a week 
much less the amount of videos that some of us are making. When I was getting started on YouTube, I was making like three videos a week, you know, and there wasn't anybody really watching. So like it was tough to make that many videos, but it then was easy because a lot of people weren't necessarily watching. I mean, if you guys go to my channel and you click on videos and then you go all the way back, you know, you can you can filter uh, or sort the, the way the videos display and you go back to like my first couple of videos and you'll see some serious growth hopefully right you'll see some serious growth from my first video to the videos that i do now so just be patient you know what i mean building your credit uh sometimes takes patience and i know that we live in a microwave society i myself want something instantly and quickly but you know in reality most things uh especially if they're worthwhile it, it takes delayed gratification to be honest with you so um anyway I gave you an earful on that. All right, let me see here. Raquel, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, ma'am. Um, there we go. Uh, Raquel says, any advice on business credit for new credit? First of all, check out Bob's channel. Bob's channel is Cakeology. He's in the stream. so. You can click on his name, Cakeology, and check out his channel. He talks a lot about business credit. Me personally, my only experience thus far is with American Express. When I applied for my initial um, Blue Cash Every Day card with American Express, they asked me while I was filling out the application if I wanted the Amex Gold business card. Of course, at the time, I was like, no. Okay. Um, but if you do it right, or I shouldn't say if you do it right, but if you have... <clears throat> A relationship with American Express, it's pretty easy to get a business card with American Express. Chase is a little different, to be honest with you, but if you have a American Express card, it's pretty easy to get a business card for American Express. When I applied for my Blue Business Plus credit card from American Express, um, the information I entered was like so, like the 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 income stuff was like so little, like very very little. Um, so I think American Express does a good job of giving opportunities to people. Uh, once again, if you have an American Express account, it's easy to get a business account with them. Um, maybe email me helping others prosper at gmail.com and I'll see if I can give you some more information on that. If you include your number, I'll give you a shout and try to answer your question, uh, better than that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, Rick is saying that uh, he heard that Citibank is cutting a lot of their benefits. Yeah, a lot of people made videos talking about that. I did not make a video talking about, about that. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's actually kind of stupid, to be honest with you. Uh, the way I feel about it is the way I felt when uh, Discover Card cut their Discover Deals portion uh, last year in October of 2018. I was super mad because they sent out an email talking about we're going to focus on a more effective, simple way of earning cash back. And I'm like, you guys are so full of it because like this is marketing talk. This is this is good talk here. There, There's no easier way to get cash back if you're able to earn 5% or 10% on other merchants and outside of the 5% cash back category. So I knew when they were getting rid of that, that that was trash. So that's kind of how I feel about Citibank getting rid of some of their perks. I mean, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, to be honest with you. But, you know, I guess they got to do what's in their best interest. Um, and that's, you know, cutting back on what they choose to cut back on. My, my Jen, don't know how to say that, but thanks for stopping by the stream. <laughs> You're watching from Louisville. Thank you. Awesome. Alberto says, my credit score is now 622. Thanks, Dwayne. Thank you, sir, for doing the work, man. You wouldn't have gotten there without doing the work. So that's freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm scrolling. Golly, I'm insanely behind. Jesus. All right, scrolling through. Awesome. Dude, I just read your comment, Ronald, in regards to the cards reporting on the bureau, the credit bureaus. That's awesome. Dude, I'm so far behind, it's not even funny. I just saw your super chat on here, Ronald. <laughs> and that was like years ago. All right, let me see here. 
<coughs> Excuse me. What's going on, Tyrone? Thanks for stopping by the stream, bro. And thank you very much in regards to the Apple Card. Um, I'm, I'm a little excited about it, but yeah, you know, like it's cool because I know that I'm going to buy Apple products. And to be honest with you, um, the Apple Card, like I feel like it's going to grow. I feel like they're going to, well, I'm sorry. I'm hoping that they're going to do a better job and uh, get us more opportunities to earn cash back, you know, like more categories or not even categories, just options to get 2% cash back. So that's what I'm hoping will happen, to be honest with you. Thomas says, what's another way to build credit fast besides keeping credit utilization low? Um, another way to build, uh, your credit score fast is to become an authorized user on someone's card that has a substantial amount of credit history. Let's say like four years, it, two years might even be enough if you have zero years of credit history. Um, and then they have, uh, you know, a pretty decent limit that they're keeping low as well, right? It's, it's irrelevant to get on someone's card as an authorized user. Um, even if they had a five year credit history, but if their utilization is like 60%, you know, like that's going to be, it's going to kind of be canceling each other out, to be honest with you. So the fastest way to improve your credit score would be to clearly always have your payment history be good. Jump on someone's card as an authorized user that has some age on it and has a low utilization and keeps a low utilization that will help you as well. Um, and I think getting a secure card, believe it or not, I think getting a secure card will help. Uh, as far as quickly, it's not going to help quickly necessarily. Uh, if quickly means in a year's time, then absolutely. I hope that helped, Thomas. Thanks for asking that question. That's a good question. All right, scroll in here. Uh, Miles. Miles said, what do you think about PenFed Credit Union? I've heard great things about them, uh, and I think that's a good look. Uh, the fact that you have an account is always good. Um, I would wait a couple of months before jumping on that credit card just to be safe, right? But I think that's a good look. And I think that I've heard that they give they give generous credit limits. So uh, keep me posted on that. Let me know how that goes. All right, let's see here. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Just got the Bob's $25 super chat. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, man. Okay, the coin alley. What's going on, man? I thank you for stopping by the stream as always and answering questions. You say you're gonna have some more videos coming up in the next days. Getting the ball rolling, yeah, dude. Get that going, man. Uh, give me a shout if you need any help at all or or anything pertaining to anything uh, on YouTube. You know, I I feel like I know a thing or two uh, in regards to YouTube and how this thing works. I mean. The simple part of it is, you know, upload often and consistently, clearly, but there's also, you know, the keyword aspect of it as well. It'd be really kind of cool to to see you uh, get going there with your channel, man. I think that'd be freaking awesome. All right, here. The coin Alice says, my Apple card will be arriving tomorrow. Did you get an email from them when your card was shipped? Wade, let me know. Just slap that in the uh, comment section. I'll get to it tomorrow. <laughs> but let me know, please. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. Thomas says, the Apple card do build credit, right? Um, I'm pretty sure just about any card kind of builds your credit. Um, so if you get it and you use it correctly, and by correctly, I mean, you know, 0 to 10% on your credit card utilization, of course, and always pay your bill on time, and I think you'll be just fine. Janelle says, Dwayne, are you ready for your vacation? Um, more than I think I know. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, initially, when I booked the trip, I was like, man, I'm really going down here to help, not help, but support my cousin. And I wasn't really like, it's not going to be like a vacation vacation, you know, in, in that sense. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting because I don't think I will frequent or visit the beach. I know, I know that sounds crazy, but... I don't think I'm going to see the beach when I go to Costa Rica and that's okay because it's, it's a nice ways away 
And seeing the beach is not like that big of a deal to me. I mean, I am from Jamaica after all, but um, I am looking forward to the trip and I'm definitely gonna be relaxing, that's for sure. Um, okay, so L L O D or Udi, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, getting a secure card is always good. Uh, to be honest with you, you're not going to need more than two. Um, you really don't need more than one. But if you want to get more than one, you know, two two is good. You don't need more than two, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, I think that's a decent way to get started. Uh, for sure and that should benefit your score in like eight in like eight to ten months you know just kind of keep an eye out on it to be honest uh, and you'll you'll see you know what I mean like that's the thing is like credit when it comes to building your credit it can take a long time for someone but if you're just starting out dude it's gonna be easy uh, to have a 700 credit score you know what I mean all you got to do is just kind of nurse that and take care of that for a year and then you should be able to go from there to be honest with you Um, David, you said you need help. Uh, your Experian is 703, Equifax is 720, but for some reason, my dang TransUnion is stuck at 640. Are there any cards that don't use TransUnion? Desperate. <laughs> well, American Express does not use TransUnion. Most of the times, it's going to be uh, Experian that American Express will pull from. Uh, I wonder if there's something going on with your TransUnion why it's 640. There has to be something that's on there that's not on the other two that would have your score be that low so you definitely want to make sure you check into that and kind of pay attention to that and see you know what you can kind of tweak to be honest with you Brian you better get out of here bro <laughs> that boy Brian says uh, much love man thank you for uh what what oh thank you so much man i can't read i look up to you a lot brother hey i appreciate that brian um that's kind of weird if you look up to me because like i said you're crushing it uh this is even if you're still in the stream because i finally got down to your comment down here you know because i'm really trying my best to make sure i give everybody some attention here and answer their questions <laughs> that's funny uh, Jorge says oh snap so many creditors <laughs> creditors in one chat log yeah that's freaking awesome mom like I said this community is freaking dope man it's uh I'm insanely proud of what's happened to this channel and what what's going on here it's 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 a true testament to you guys and uh, you know some of the work that I put in and, and also that you guys put in that you're consistently here watching these videos um, I'm blown away by that and humbled by that so that is really freaking awesome. And it's it's all love in here. All love for sure. All right, let's see here. Mm, sorry, guys. I'm trying to read through these comments to make sure that I answer people's questions. Uh, Parker Platinum Auto. Don't remember seeing you here. First of all, thanks for stopping by. You said great info, Dwayne, and I appreciate your transparent and open content. Dude, Parker, I'm glad I clicked on your name. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, that's one of the things that I kind of pride myself on when I looked at kind of what was out there in regards to channels on YouTube talking about credit. I tried to find a way to stand out and try to kind of find a niche that I could kind of you know, be in or a void that I can kind of fill. And I really, really try hard to be transparent with you guys in regards to my credit, in regards to uh, my application. I feel like sometimes I, I nerd it out. I go a step further, you know, because I just try to be as transparent as possible. So that means an, an insane amount to me that you said that and you said that those words you know, you said you appreciate my transparent and open content. I really appreciate that, man. Thanks for taking the time to say that. Uh, favorite comment of the night. <laughs> if there is such a thing, I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. 
Um, Josh said, man, I haven't used my rewards at all. I've earned like $10 so far, LOL, but I have until April 2020 for my match. Josh, that's funny. The reason why I clicked on that is because I'm the same way. Um, back last year, I think I earned like 800 and like 44 bucks with Discover Card. And then I earned like maybe like another 40 or something like that the next month. But um, altogether, it was over $1,700. I think it was $17.88 and 55 cents. And I didn't, I didn't use any of my cash back until I got my cash back match because I'm a nerd like that. And I did the same thing this year, but this year I didn't get as much cash back because I was splitting my purchases between my Discover card and my American Express Gold card. And of course, a couple of other cards sprinkled in there. So that's awesome, bro. Malika, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by the stream. <laughs> you said Medea. All right, I see you. Wagwan. I appreciate you stopping by the stream. Look. <laughs> this is funny. I'm like, I'm, I'm reading, right? I'm like, what? What are you saying here? Yeah, I got you. Thank you for stopping by the stream. That's awesome. Uh, Venezuela says, do you still have a relationship with Capital One Bank? I do. I have the Saver card and I have the Capital One Quicksilver card. Those cards are the oldest cards right now. Um, one turns six. I think they both turn, not, yeah, one turns six, I think in October. And the other one turned six like next year sometime. But I definitely still have those accounts. Those are my most seasoned, account seasoned accounts. Um, R. Warwick says, hey, Dwayne, I got the city secured card and the 18 months will end. The 18 months will end in October. But I received a letter saying I want to be updated for another 12 months with no reason. Not sure what you're saying. I, I guess you're talking about uh, possibly the. Um, are you talking about the balance transfer? Because you can have it, I guess, like 18 months with no APR. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Oh man, you want to close your two Capital One accounts, dude? Never do that unless you know they're young. <clears throat> if there's no annual fee. Definitely don't close those accounts. There's no there's no reason to. Oh, snap. Pink Lady Barber, I'm so sorry. She says, hey, you skipped my hello, but you answered my question Alway, already, though. Uh, my bad, Pink Lady Barber. I did see you initially there, but I, I when I saw you, I thought you were talking to Lyndon. And, and so I was just like, I just kind of, I guess I could scroll by. Please forgive me. Thank you for joining the stream. Thanks for coming back for another installment. I appreciate you. And sorry about that. All right. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, the Coin Alley says, if you look inside the app, you'll get an alert with the status of your card and you can always see the tracking number. Okay, sweet. I will definitely look in, into the uh, the wallet app, I guess is what you're talking about, as soon as my stream is over with. All right, all right. Uh, Heavy Mechanic 2, first of all, thanks for stopping by the stream. I don't remember seeing your name before, uh, if you've been here before, so thank you for stopping by. You said, do you know anything about Fifth Third Bank credit card approval? Uh, got $500 with a 710 trip. Uh, from TransUnion. Uh, wow, five hundred dollars with a seven ten. I I personally haven't heard of them, but um, when it comes to a, at least the fact that you got approved, um, I would be glad about getting approved just because I know it sucks to be denied. So, <laughs> congratulations on being approved. Uh, Raquel says, any information on the Spark Classic Business Credit? Uh, I think, it, is it, are you talking about the Spark uh, card with Capital One? If you are, I think that Capital One has a decent um, uh, decent amount of business cards and their sign-up bonuses are pretty okay if you're talking about that. Um, but I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about or not, Raquel. All right, let's see here. Okay, sweet. I somehow made it to the end of the comments it took me forever, but I somehow made it. Guys, if you have any questions, 
Go ahead and throw them in the comment section right now, please. There are plenty of people, including myself, uh, that can answer your questions in regards to credit. Go ahead and throw them in the comment section. I'm about to end the live stream. Um, wow, I've done a stream tonight for an hour and a half. Boy, we're doing it tonight. Um, I don't think, I'm pretty sure I won't do, I will not do a stream on Monday of next week. That will be um, Labor Day. And more importantly, I will be flying back to Houston. Um, I'll get here at like 6.30 or something like that. Um, so I'm not going to make it home for 7 o'clock to do the live stream. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to chill. So um, I won't do a live stream on Monday. If for some reason I have the opportunity, I might do like a surprise or pop-up live stream on Sunday uh, or someday from uh, from Costa Rica. So we'll see um, if I get out there and do a live stream. But um, I'm looking forward to the trip. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the live stream and, uh, you know, coming back for another installment. I'll be back the following Monday for sure uh, talking to you guys about credit. Okay, Quinn says the problem with Spark business card is that they also report it also reports to your personal credit. Not a good look. That's weird that they report to your personal credit. Um, and I'm saying that's weird because I don't remember seeing the American Express business card on my personal credit. Um, not that I really, really look and pay attention to my personal credit, to be honest with you. Um, I don't freak out about my credit as much now just because my score is pretty decent. You know, like it's over 730, 740. Um, most of the time it's over 750. So I don't really freak out about the details as much. Um, but first of all, thanks for sharing that. I, I didn't know that. That's kind of weird. Um, is this Chambe? I don't know how to pronounce that. Please forgive me. You said, yo, yow. You said, yow, D. <laughs> uh, this is, this is, uh. Celestia from Seattle. I got Discover and Capital One and U.S. Bank uh, secured card. This is after I watched your videos five months ago. Last week, U.S. Bank approved me for the cash plus $1,000. First of all, congratulations on that. And uh, <laughs> thanks for stopping by the stream. This is funny. You guys are cracking me up with this, uh, with, with, uh, this, this talk in here. I appreciate it, though. Uh, Pink Lady Barber says, have a safe trip. I certainly will. Hey, Mr. Carter, I see you, bro. Uh, status update, TransUnion 600 uh, to 605. Uh, it not much, but little point, but the little points count. Absolutely. I mean, dude, you're young. You got it. That's your credit score should be good in like the next year. So keep doing what you're doing, man, for sure. Okay, I see what you're saying, R. Warwick, in regards to the 18 month. Uh, you said my Citibank credit card didn't didn't go unsecure after 18 months for no reason with balance zero, always payment on time. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about a secured card and you're saying it hasn't been promoted to the unsecured. Uh, you definitely want to call them. Uh, it's kind of weird because that's kind of my experience with Discover Card. Um, man, I was calling Discover Card like after like nine, 10 months, I was calling them all the time. Like, you know, are you guys going to promote me? And Discover Card did not and does not have a system where they can have a, a person actually do it. They claim that the system has to do it, which is like really annoying because my score was like over 750 with Discover and I still was not promoted to an unsecured card, which didn't make any sense. <laughs> Janelle, I will have a safe trip. That's for sure. Uh, the coin alley says, watch them roaming charges on your cell phone. Find out how much you can use your cell phone uh, on the cheap. If you already. Yeah, dude, I definitely found out uh, they're saying 25 cents per minute on outgoing and incoming calls. And they were like unlimited text and text and data. My data is going to be 2G speeds. So I'm like, I'm laughing, you know, 2G. Like That's a good one. So I won't be using my cell phone often, especially if I'm not on Wi-Fi. Okay, cool. Well, guys, that is it for this particular live stream. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the moderators, 
all the people that came in here, shared their information, that got credit cards, congratulations. Julian, I see your message there, bro, in regards to uh, uh, your your score shooting up 43 and 42 points with TransUnion and Equifax. Congratulations to you, bro. Like I said, you shared that with me earlier today, so thanks for sharing that in this community. Um, anyway, guys, I appreciate you very, very much. You probably will not see me um, next Monday, but I will be here um, as soon as I can, when I can. Uh, Chambe says, by the way, my mom from Jamaica, dad from Ethiopia, I'm so proud of what of you that you helped me. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Um, I appreciate that a lot. And thanks for stopping by the stream. It was kind of funny reading. I'm like, what? Selassie, I, what, what is that, right? Or I highly see, I, whatever you had put in there. It was kind of weird reading it, but it was good reading it. Thanks, thanks again, guys, for watching the live stream. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace. Good night, everybody. Take care.